Before we get started, I want to introduce um, my colleagues on the City Council. Council President Lori Stegman is here, Councilor Kirk French, and my mom is here, so I'll introduce my mom. <laughs> One of the reasons that I love local government, because it doesn't matter if you're an R or you're a D, it matters on what's best for this community. <laughs> Sometimes you'll have R's going to the D side and D's going to the R side, and nobody cares. There's really no Republican or Democratic way to sweep the streets or to pick the garbage up. Should we get loaded up in the car? Yeah. All right. This is what we think is best for our kids. This is what we think is best for the community going forward. There's a lot of freedom in that. I moved to Gresham when I was 15. I moved here one day before I started at Gresham High School. Gresham was a great place to grow up, great suburban city. My mother was very involved in politics, so I was always kind of helping her with campaigns, being around elected officials and doing the parades and the dinners. I didn't know necessarily that that's what I wanted to do, but I knew that it was exciting to me because I got to see people make real change. Most of my high school years I spent working for a small family-owned department store and it was kind of the place that the movers and shakers went, and the mayors, the police chiefs, the senators, et cetera, et cetera. And then I really got the bug. I opened my first business. I got involved with the Chamber of Commerce and decided that there was a business sense that was missing at the local level. And I thought that that business acumen could have a large impact on sort of the trajectory of where the city was going, the things that were important to it. That's how I got involved and, uh, you know, never regretted it. Having served on the city council I think was a great training ground, however, when you're on the city council and you get the tough questions and people really want some answers to things, it's always the default of the city council to say, you know, we're really going to need to check with the mayor about that. So when I first came in and it's like, oh, well, no, I guess I got to check with myself. And so that was, that was sort of a, a transition. Gresham's changed a lot. We've had a rapid amount of growth. And so trying to figure out how to take a smaller city and make it think bigger has been a little bit of a challenge, but something I think we've been pretty successful at trying to do. In the middle of the Great Recession, we were kind of left with parts of our city that were starting to become vacant. We started saying, what do we do in the face of this? We took a look at our historic downtown, a shopping center area called Civic Neighborhood, and as well as a neighborhood called Rockwood. And we said, how about we just don't charge anybody anything? Okay, so if you want to open up a business that's 5,000 square feet or less in any one of these three sectors, uh, we're going to waive the system development charges, your wastewater development charges, your parks development charges, your traffic impact fee, your business license, and oh, by the way, we're going to have somebody with you every step of the way from the minute you come in and you pull your first permit until you pull your open sign. We termed it the garage to storefront. I had no idea how successful it would be did it for one year initially, we renewed it a second year, and then we renewed it a third year, and at the end of the three years, there wasn't a need for it anymore, which was a great thing. We took our number one energy user at the wastewater treatment plant, and by the end of next year, it will 100% produce its own energy on site. I think it's pretty neat when you are able to set a broad policy in a tone and then let people kind of coalesce around it and sometimes things that you never even thought about come to the top. I don't ever talk about climate. We don't have to talk about climate. We do what's right for the environment and we save money. That's pretty simple to me. <laughs> There's nothing better than being mayor of your hometown. All right, see you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Take care, man. When I go to the grocery store, it's, hey, mayor, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, sometimes that's challenging, but I love it. <laughs> he knows that. I'm always amazed at people that say, I didn't want to bother you. I didn't want to call your office. No, call my office. That's what I'm here for. Hire office to me. 
you know, maybe someday it's something, I don't know. But right now, there's not a lot of glory in being an R or a D and being in gridlock either at the state level or the federal level. Uh, here, we can get things done, and uh, it's a whole heck of a lot of fun.